Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be cooking some wings. I'm going to do some hot wings as well as some lemon pepper wings. And these are the wings. Before this, I was showing you the deep fryer. I'm going to use two separate bowls to make my two sauces. Real butter unsalted. Lemon pepper seasoning. Feel free to get the brand of your choice. This is my wing sauce of choice, Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. Um, I'm going to season the chicken with garlic and onion powder. Both are salt free. Or you can use onion powder and garlic salt that has salt in it. So I'm going to take a little bit of that onion powder and a little bit of that garlic salt. Again, substitute the garlic salt for garlic powder if you don't want salt. I like a little bit of Cajun seasoning in mine and I'm going to just use my hands to mix all of that in. Now I'm going to add all of the wings to my deep fryer. Well I'm going to add maybe about 8 or 9 because my deep fryer is pretty small. And now we're going to work on the sauce. I'm going to cut up a few pieces of butter. I'm going to add those into my small little pot. I'm going to take that over to the stove and let that melt. I'm also going to set aside a plate with a few napkins on it. That way the excess oil can be sopped up by the napkins when I take it out of the deep fryer. Now that the butter is melted, I'm going to add it to the mixing bowl. Some of those wings were ready, so I went ahead and took them out. That napkin is going to sop up all of that oil. Now we're going to add another batch. The only thing about using a deep fryer is that you do small batches, whereas if you do a bigger pan, you can do more. Now I'm going to take my lemon pepper seasoning and I'm going to add it to that butter. Now I do add a lot because I like a lot. I would say cut the recipe in half. That was a third of a cup. So maybe use about half of that or even less if you don't want a whole lot of lemon pepper. Now the next step is optional. I'm going to just add a little bit of my Parmesan cheese to the batter. This is just going to help to thicken it up. It's also going to give it a little bit of a nicer taste. This is my secret ingredient for a thicker coating onto the chicken, but you don't have to do it. Doesn't that look so good? It almost looks like an Indian dish or something like that, but it's so bomb. Now I'm going to take some more butter and put it into the other mixing bowl. And I'm going to take my Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. And I'm going to mix like almost all of this bottle in there because I'm going to make a lot of wing sauce. I make a lot of sauce in general because we like our wings extra wet and then with the leftover chicken I'm able to dip them and store the wings and they don't dry out. Um, you can add a little bit of cayenne pepper if you want your wings a little hotter. So if your wing sauce or your hot sauce that you use isn't hot enough go ahead and add a little cayenne. We have our second batch done. I do like my chicken extra dark and crispy. I don't like soft light wings. I like them cooked all the way to capacity. Keep in mind that because we used real butter that lemon pepper seasoning is going to dry down to a solid but now we're going to add all of our wings to a pan, two separate pans so that we can coat them with our two separate sauces. I like to do mine in a pan so that all of the wings are piping hot when I plate them. Also it kind of helps the sauce to cook into the wings a little bit better in my opinion. You see how solid the sauce got for the lemon pepper? It's because we use real butter like I said before, but if you use margarine it won't do the same thing. So it's your choice. And those hot wings are also looking really, really, really good. I don't know, it's just something about adding the sauce in a pan to the wings that makes them so much better than just tossing them in the bowl. But of course, if you want, you can just toss the wings into the bowl with the sauce and, you know, plate them right from there. And now our wings are pretty much done. When you do it like this, it also adds a little extra crispiness to the wings, in my opinion. So I served mine with some garlic mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Again, we like ours extra wet, so I added a little seasoning on the top, and voila! Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.